This is Once Was Lost by Sarah Azar. It's a really amazing book that follows the life of Sam, a girl with a rehab-bound mother and a pastor father who seems to have time for everyone but her. The story follows her decreasing faith as the young girl in the community goes missing. Sam is forced to question everything she held dear and learn how to have faith when there's nothing to have faith in. Sarah Azar is really a spectacular writer. The book is really engrossing while still remaining a beautifully written masterpiece. I would recommend this to any youth or adult reader who doesn't want to sacrifice quality literature for an amazing story. I read Matched by Ali Condi, and this was an amazing book. She is such a good writer, and within a few pages, I was already hooked on to the characters. I was already caring a ton about them, so I definitely think everybody should read this book because it's amazing. All right, so I just finished reading Waterkeep by J. Scott Savage. It's the first in the Far World series, and I have to say it's really awesome. It totally breaks all the fantasy cliches. I mean, it's got magic and dragons like every other book, but it's also got shape-shifting and talking trees, and it's got a totally unexpected plot twist. I just read Everything is Fine by Andy Ellis. And it's a great, easy, fast read, and I think that you should read it too. <laughs> this book talk is about Petronella saves nearly everyone. It's about Petronella, whose uncle comes out with a very unnatural instinct. He eats bugs. This happens at a very bad place in her life, her coming out party. Just when she thinks things can't get worse, two of her most infamous guests are kidnapped, making it so that she must go on an um, adventure to save them. So it's a really good book. I'd recommend it to teens who enjoy adventure. I'm Haley Gibson, and I read Princess of Glass by Jessica Day George. And it was really good. I love this book because the main character is strong and she's independent and she's the type of princess that we don't get to see a lot and it was really cool to read about her and all of the characters have tons of depth and you just feel like you really know them and they all have background stories and you just you feel like they're your friends by the end of the novel and it was kind of like Cinderella but it has such a big twist on it that you don't even I didn't even realize it was like it until I went and reread it so it was really good and I totally recommend it um, I read A.E. Cannon's The Loser's Guide to Life and Love, and I really thought it was funny, and I liked it a lot. It's in a Salt Lake, Utah setting, and I think anyone who liked Flipped or Stargirl would really enjoy this book. I read The Hourglass Door by Lisa Mangum. Um, it's a really good romantic, I don't really know what other genre it is. I want to kind of say sci-fi, but I don't know. Anyway, it's really interesting. I wasn't expecting the plot that it had. Um, I don't know, just check it out, if, see if you're interested. It's for anyone. I read Leviathan and Behemoth by Scott Westerfeld, and they're steampunk novels, which means they're set in a world similar to ours, but the technology's a little bit different. And it tells a story about the clankers and Darwinists that fight against each other, and the Darwinists are people that modify animals so they can like have lizards that speak or whales that fly through the air for warships and then the clankers make giant machines that are made of gears and run by steam and it's really cool when they battle one another and then the two main characters are Alec and Darren and Alec is a clanker and he's a prince whose family was killed off and then Darren she disguises herself as a boy so that she can work aboard the Leviathan which is this giant airship and it's just cool to read about this world that's similar to ours but then there's the little differences that make it fantasy and make it great. Um, I read Rapunzel's Revenge by Shannon and Dean Hale, illustrated by Nathan Hale. I usually don't read graphic novels, to be honest, but I'd read some of Shannon's other work, and so I just tried to try it. And I am so glad I did. This novel is so much fun. The familiar fairy tale we all know about the girl with the long hair has been picked up, turned inside out, twisted around, and plopped back in the Wild West. <laughs> the main character is hardly a damsel in distress, and she has this new sidekick whose name is Jack. And he had to leave home because he had some giant 
problems. There's something in here for everyone. There's adventure and humor and even a little romance. I would definitely recommend this to absolutely anyone. It is so much fun. This is The Forbidden Sea by Shona Nelson, and it is about a young girl named Adrienne who lives on an island that is a fishing village, um, and they're very superstitious, um, and they are very family-oriented. Um, Adrienne, um, two years previous, her father died in a horse accident, and Adrienne and her family are left destitute. So Adrienne um, is the prime provider of the family, and she um, is trying to figure out ways that she can help her family get out of poverty, that they will be able to um, provide for their wants and their needs. Um, Adrienne, meanwhile, um, has to rescue her sister Cecily um, as she falls into the ocean. And once this happens, um, her, her and her sister, they meet this mermaid, and the mermaid is trying to take her sister Cecily down um, to the water. She doesn't know why, this is happening or what the mermaid wants from her. So um, this is a book of, or this is a story about Adrian and how she's trying to figure out what the mermaid wants from her and why the mermaid um, is trying to cause destruction to their island. And it's full of surprises and I recommend it for anyone who loves a good story um, that it's based off of fables. And if you're a big fan of The Little Mermaid, this is a story for you. This is Fable Haven by Brandon Mull. I recommend it to anyone who's looking for a magical adventure. It has chickens, milk, farms, chocolate, and a little something else. So you should read it. Thanks. Do you have a secret obsession, an obsession that you want no one to know about? Well, in Lifted, the main character, Poppy Brown, moves to, new, to a new school in Texas, and her friends get her to start shoplifting. Soon the adrenaline rush becomes addic be makes her addicted to it, and she starts stealing bigger and bigger things. What I really like about this book is it shows the inner turmoil that many people have about what's right and wrong. I'm Quincy Waite, and I read Glimpse by Carol Lynch Williams, and in it we follow Hope through the trials that she's facing with her family and her mother and her sister. And the back of it reads, in one moment it is over, in one moment it is gone. The morning grows thin, gray, and our lives, how they were, have vanished. Our lives have changed when I walk in on Lizzie, my sister, holding a shotgun. And this book is heart-wrenching, and it's, it lets you really see a glimpse of how lives are going on around you that we don't really normally see. And so it's a really good read and allows a lot of insight. I read Wolves, Boys, and Other Things That Might Kill Me by Kristen Chandler. I really enjoyed reading this book. This story takes place near Yellowstone National Park. It has the perfect amount of romance and action to keep anyone interested. The main characters, KJ and Virgil, have the perfect personalities. I really recommend this book, especially to teen girls. I read Sooner Your Own Risk by Sydney Salter, and uh, it was a really great book. It was impossible to put down. And it's about a girl named Polly who, after five ex-boyfriends during her junior year, uh, she's just trying to not have a relationship this summer, but it's not very easy because her grandma is actually the famous uh, Miss Swoon, who is the love advice columnist in the, in the newspaper. Um, so it was a really great book, and I really enjoyed reading it. And so if you want to hear how it ends, you'll just have to read it yourself. <laughs>